Okay, what we have here is an ICOM 706 Mark II G with the control head removed from the radio itself and the remote control. You can see that it's on the uh, W6SF Stockton um, the Stockton Delta Amateur Radio Group repeater. And I just got done talking to Dave, N6LHL, on whether the control head is mounted on the whether the control head's mounted on the radio without the remote piece, it works. And with the remote cable plugged in to make the uh, control head um, mountable. So it works. So we'll uh, we'll give Dave a call here and see uh, see if I can still reach him. N6 LHL KF6 EII. Good afternoon, Cliff. Still here. Hey, I appreciate it, Dave. So, still, still sounds the same, huh? Maybe not. <laughs> so, Dave, it uh, still sounds the same. I just had a, I just had a little power failure here. Oh, okay. Yeah, I doubled with the first part of your conversation. Um, sorry about your power failure. At least you got it up and running again. So, uh, is it uh, is it still sounding the same? Yes, sir. It's all quieting into the machine and uh, sounds very good. I, I was going to get a signal on the reverse uh, on the input, but uh, you're a little far out for me. Um, I live over here in Lincoln Village West, and I'm on the um, shadowed a bit by the. Here's um, my. Uh, by the freeway, uh, it's like 30 feet high. So, um, uh, if you're back far enough, uh, usually I can I can hear people. But if they're in anywhere in the city of Stockton, uh, I can't hear hear them uh, directly. So we have to go through the repeater. But uh, I, I I could barely hear anything with a lot of scratchiness. So and, and it all sounds the same. Oh, okay. Well, you want me to uh, put it on high? I think it's on uh, medium right now. I'm actually in Banta, California, which is uh, south of you. So that might might not uh, that might be why you uh, can't hear me on the reverse. Oh, okay. All right. You're in Banta then. Um, yeah, try it on high. I'll switch over to reverse and see if I hear you any better. Okay, stand by one. How do I? Man, it's been so long since I've actually done this. I forgot. I've forgotten how to do it. Gosh darn mode. Well, that's. Sideband. That's uh, CW. That's FM. I've actually forgotten how to set the power on this thing. Hmm. Interesting. Huh. So I'm kind of. Yeah, Dave. I'm gonna have to mess with this thing a little bit. I've I've actually um, forgotten how to set the power on it. It's been so long since I've used it. So if you're going to be there a bit, let me play with this and uh, we'll see what we can do to get it up. I'm, uh, I'm pretty much in the clear where I am, but uh, anyways. Okay, Dave, give me a bit here. Let me play with it and see what I can do with it, and I'll uh, give you a call back here in a bit. <laughs> okay, very good. M6LHL, be listening for a while.
KF6EII. Okay, how do we do this? I've forgotten. This thing is, you know, this thing's, thing comes with a 4,000 page manual. You can uh, do all sorts of things with it. And I've just basically forgotten how to. Uh... Good afternoon. The time is 2 13 p.m. from 2500 feet. W6SF. Display. Band. Hmm. Me not sure. Anyways, this will make a good YouTube video for uh, all those people out there that haven't actually seen any of my radio gear. I only actually have two working radios. One's a Kenwood uh, all mode. Um, and the other one is a 706 Mark II G, which uh, actually you're looking at the control head right now, and it's on two meter. So we'll get this thing back installed back into the truck and uh, plug the uh, antenna back into it. I've got it all running outside the truck. Gee, maybe it was the sunshine that fixed it. Who knows? Anyways. Alrighty, folks. Have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.